Hello everybody! As you know, I am Commander Orca, and I am back! I'm here with Zach today from the Defiance Games development team, and we are going to play some Archmage Rises for you. And yes. hopefully, this time I'm not going to spend all my money instantly in the first five seconds of the game <laughs> on <laughs> something I don't need. For those of you who saw that, you know what I'm talking about. And those of you who didn't, it's okay. It never happened. We don't have to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hopefully we've made it a little bit easier to get money now. All right. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so 346 years ago, the Empire fell, brought to ruin by Ulrich the Free. Legends speak of other great people. Miranda of Sedmore, the most powerful fire sorceress to ever walk the earth. Donan the Tall, who led a crusade against the orc hordes of the frozen north. Tamalid of Angrith, who brought five years of peace to the land of Hoth with nothing but his vial and his voice. Most of the land is ruled by the noble house of Castoran. They grow rich on fat trade routes and the, back of pe the backs of peasants. Opposed to them are the great cloth merchants of the Stanward clan, who lurk in the shadows, plotting the downfall of all who stand in their way. A lesser noble house, the ancient line of Orondor, is but a shadow of its former glory, and yet they cling to what remains of their holdings, fighting for survival with a ferocity that daunts even their mightiest foes. In a rustic corner of the land lies a simple village, ruled by a minor lord of the House of Orendor. War hasn't touched this humble community in centuries, since well before the Empire fell. But goblins lurk nearby, often glimpsed in the mountains at night. Rumors of giant spiders keep all but the most brave, or the most foolhardy, close to home. It is exactly 11.35 a.m. on Apmar Ap 20th. The village peace is suddenly pierced by a desperate woman's scream. And I got expelled. Instantaneously. <laughs> right away. Just months before passing your tests and graduating as a mage, you've been unjustly expelled. Taking only what you could steal on your way out, you enter the harsh adult world at 16 years old, penniless, lost, and an illegitimate mage. Yes, Captain Grey, I, I got expelled. Um, instantly and unjustly. So, I'm gonna be keeping that in mind. Not that I want revenge, but maybe justice. I don't know. Um, so now now I'm jumping into a world with nothing that says that except what I could see on the way out. So maybe I took some pens on the way out. <laughs> and uh, here's the tutorial, which I'm going to skip because I've played this part before. And I have a letter from Rohesia Massen of the Wintervale Chapter House of the Conclave of Mages and Enchanters in Hoth. <clears throat> My superiors in the Conclave have learned of your dismissal from your studies to become a full sworn mage, and, for reasons I cannot imagine, have decided to give you a second chance. Please report to me at the Chapter House of Wintervale, where I will explain the details. It seems I have a special job for you. Ignore this summons at your peril. And every time I've streamed this, I made the same joke that I don't want to peril, so I won't ignore that. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> okay. Um, and all my viewers, when you get a chance to play through this, you should leave tutorials on. I'm only skipping tutorials because I've been walked through the game before. Tutorials are very important, and I've noticed, especially in this game, you should pay attention to what they're saying because you can die instantly and it's permadeath. So you get one shot at this and you have to start over. And if you die on your first playthrough because you didn't listen to the tutorial or what you were instructed, that that kind of ends up not being very gratifying for you. <laughs> really, we're trying to figure out um, good ways for player onboarding now, uh, just because we've noticed that a lot of people are confused, like even with tutorials. So mm. that's definitely something that we're like thinking about and wanting to make something that's actually um, fun in the game to do and not just like a, a whole bunch of reading, but nice. um, maybe some interactive ways to kind of like get your feet wet in the game. So mm -hmm. nice. Oh, that's pretty. It looks like there's cherry blossoms in the distance there. 
Um, yeah, springtime. Yeah. So I keep getting distracted with exploring instead of doing like the main quest thing. So I'm going to really, really try to focus and see if in this stream I can complete that little... <laughs> that okay. At least get farther than... Last time I got... I was still at the very beginning because I ended up wasting all that money and then it turned it turned out turned it out oh my gosh turned out <laughs> that I needed that money to progress the quest oh yeah it looks like I've gone as far west as I can I don't see a town <laughs> yeah west is sort of one of the general directions yeah. so it might not be like directly west mm -hmm. Um, so I'm gonna go. Yeah, it looks like we'll probably have to go around the water here. I hear singing from the forest. Um, bravely run away from the singing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, I'm gonna try and. F oh, I'm so curious what it is. Um, I have this urge to sing out in response and see what happens, but I'm scared I'm gonna get attacked. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I I don't know. I'm gonna you have to try and find out. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Let's see. All right, nice. Okay. We improved the craft skill. Nice. And we succeeded. Um, you sing out beautifully in harmony with the voice. After the song ends, the voice shouts out to come join him. And I'm going to leave because I don't want to die. And I feel like I'm going to. You have no time for frivolity. Satisfied to discover it was a bard, you leave him to his music. Okay, it was a bard. That wasn't going to be a problem, but... Um, I'm going to keep going this way. You come across an unusually nice flower bed. The shrubbery almost looks maintained. And I'm going to investigate it. You decide to look around. There appears to be a few ways you could go about doing so. Um, I could continue looking around or cast Arcane Insight. Um, let's see. I can get a, a, I need to, okay, let's do that. Let's continue to look around and see. Nice! Okay. All right. Insight discovered. Success. Okay. You make a thorough search of the area and the odd flowers don't appear to be enchanted in any way. There's no sign of overturned soil or maintenance by someone, nor is any spell present. It is a simple bed of flowers. Let's decide what we're going to do about it. Okay. So the first option is to stomp all over them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I'm not going to do. Oh, no. <laughs> I can spend some time smelling the flowers or play around mm -hmm. in them. I can burn them. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some oh, people no. want to do that, I'm sure. Wow. And then I can cultivate and help them grow. I'm going to help them grow. <laughs> That's nice. Burn them. Oh. You shower the plants in rain, allowing leaves and flowers to drink up the water. Gardening like this provides a calmness. The damp patter of the rain around you lets you perceive a greater depth. The smell of honeysuckle and fresh dew. The sounds of wind and bees. A serenity is found here. That's nice. That made me feel serene in real life. <laughs> oh, I can just I can just study the journal myself. Maybe I can yeah. have more time. <laughs> Um, how do I do that? Uh, so you can ask her for her services. Yeah, ah, there you go. Nice. Okay, so I can study that. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, I'll do a hundred percent. Nice. Okay, you learned the artifact is located east of Hollyhead. Oh, okay. I had the book. I wasn't giving them the book. Right. I was finding the artifact. And then, yeah, yeah. Oh, I do have more time to decide. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. <laughs> we like having time to make a good decision on who we're going to give yes. potential uh, cataclysmic artifacts to. Right. <laughs> Let's. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Takes a little bit to load up. <laughs> Especially on my computer. It's been running very slow today. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
Your footsteps shatter the stillness of the tomb, echoing down halls that have been that have known neither light nor sound for untold ages of the world. The sense of power in this place beats bears down on you like a milestone. Millstone. Wow, my reading comprehension today is <laughs> I've rolled very low on that. <laughs> um Okay. Now I'm inside. This is some very upbeat music for a yeah, we, we still have the town music, apparently. <laughs> Whoops. More to fix. Okay, so I remember from last time not to go up the stairs because that's how you leave. And I need a light spell. But I don't have that. Hmm. Uh, I think you should be starting with a torch, also. Oh. Do I have? Yes, nice. Okay. Ah, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. That again saved us a lot of time because I would have spent a <laughs> long time trying to figure out how to learn a light spell. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, for twelve hours. Awesome. Um. Now I need to go looking. Uh. Oh, I don't want to fight more skeletons. Okay, they're waiting for me. Round two. <laughs> I'm back. All right. Oh, he's got a big old pillar in front of him. Yeah. And they're starting, which is not good. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Ooh. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> wow. Oh no! Oh no! I have never died before. And this is your first time. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Oh no! The upbeat music is still going. <laughs> it, it is. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh. There's also sad music though. Oh at the no! Same time. This is sad. Your body thumps into the pit, its fall broken by a handful of corpses which have preceded you. Oh my gosh, the bailiff drones out a few dreary words of ceremony. Before the men are even out of sight, the underbrush is already rustling with things come to tear your flesh. Your only consolation is that you are near the bottom of the mound of dead. Maybe your bedfellows will buy you a few weeks of peace before you are reduced to vermin fodder. Oh no! Um... Hectarius. It's somehow congrats. worse with the music. <laughs> it is. Hectarius says, congrats, I've died a couple of times. It gets easier. I mean, the dying gets easier. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the fact that it's my funeral and it's like upbeat music. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of twisted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yay, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. This is sad. Very somber, though. Yeah. Wow, I haven't died yet. This was so early. Kotika says, lol, it's so morbid. It is. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm dead! <laughs> it's over, there's no continue button! I... Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh. Oh, that's so sad. Um. Okay, well I guess I'm gonna start a new game. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you have to bear with me as I do all of that over again. But, um, here we go. Oh, yes, but because everything is procedurally generated, the story is a little bit different. And my character is different. Everything's different, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So it'll still be interesting for everyone because I'm still playing through a new world and new story. But hopefully... I don't die so quickly again because I I know that that's yeah. still very early into the game to die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even though it's the furthest I've made it. <laughs> um, that was a strong group of skeletons. It was. They really just kind of came at me, and I was like, "Oh, yeah, all right." <laughs> Here we go. We are back on track. It's a bandit fall. Bandit. Okay. Um, your footsteps shatter the stillness of the tomb, echoing down halls that have known neither light nor sound for untold ages of the world. The sense of power in this place bears down on you like a millstone. This is cool. It's like a library of sorts. 
I feel like, oh, I was just about uh -oh. to say, uh oh, I feel like bandits might be easier to deal with than skeletons, but it's Hopefully, only one. Yeah. Okay, let's see. This time, I'm gonna start. How much is this gonna use? Will I have enough to use this and this? I will. So I'm gonna start by doing this, and then I'm gonna just launch like a crazy missile at this bandit, which feels a little mean, but... Ooh, he still oh, survived. Okay, so it's a good thing I used that, um, not run away, pass turn, that, uh, shield. <laughs> yeah. Because... I'm not dead. <laughs> uh, how much more do I need? Uh, seven. So I can cost... not cost to use. This should be more than enough. Awesome! Did the trick. Yeah. I did not die. <laughs> and I got money, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, more bandits. Okay. More! My stamina's low. Um... That shield strategy was good. Uh, let's do that. <laughs> and... Oh boy, do I have the stamina for that? I really don't. Um... I just do the... kind of a middle power one. Mm -hmm. When you do the, the higher power ones, it costs like a lot more stamina. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, That explains why I went through stamina so fast. <laughs> yeah, it takes like a quarter of your stamina to do a full power cast. Oops. <laughs> I should have been paying attention to that. Well, sometimes it can it can work out. Like, I think you, you killed a skeleton in one turn that way once. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I need... Let's see. This should do it, maybe. I can afford that, maybe, probably not, but yeah. I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> it didn't work. Use clothes. Let's see, how much more do I need? Seven. Okay, let's use like a little tiny missile then. There we go. Nice. Awesome. And I got 35 gold. And more money. Yay. Okay. Um. So, where am I? It's fine. Um, because now I have all this stamina. <laughs> yeah. And I have a better strategy of not using my mega missiles with all the stamina use. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is totally fine. <laughs> Uh, uh, I have 30 seconds left in the stream to finish this guy off, so I'm going to just be stupid and use a big missile. <laughs> nice. Okay. Might as well. Yeah. End with a bang. Yes. There we go. Got him. Yeah. Alright. It's not likely that my objective is through this door, but oh no. Or more oh, no. And now it's dark. <laughs> I can run away. It's okay. I can run away. Yeah, you got this. Okay. okay yeah, you did it. All right. All right. Awesome. <laughs> that was, I would say, a fairly successful run. I only died once. That was once. pretty good. <laughs> we, I think we did pretty well, all things considered. <laughs> Thank you so much, Zach, for joining and playing yeah action. thanks for having me on with you <laughs> it was really fun and thank you everyone who tuned in i hope that you guys had as much fun watching me be scared and run around as i had fun being scared running around <laughs> um if you want to watch me stream more things i will be doing these saturday streams from 5 to 7 p.m every week and that's eastern time Thank you all so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day or night, depending on what time zone you're in. Or morning. I guess there are maybe some morning time zone people. Yeah. 
Thank you so much for tuning in. Cetacean Squadron, dismissed. <laughs>